Okay, it's the start of another lovely day. It should be good weather because we're up on a plateau. Well, they say it's a desert plateau, so when it rains, it's actually where. Now, the motel itself had terrible Wi Fi, but you know, for its location, right next to the Sawtooth uh, National Forest in Idaho, you can't beat it. So, this should be incredible riding all day. Oh, I can't wait to get to it. actual start. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a great ride. There's a little historical fact. Apparently here, that was a bison jump. What I guess apparently ancient people used to do, they used to chase the bison over the cliff and they would collect the bodies at the blow. But uh, this is gonna be a great ride. Ah, oh, I can't wait, to, can't wait to get it going. Today's ride was actually particularly very nice, not just because of the weather, as you can see it here, it was absolutely perfect, but it was going through Idaho. Idaho, if people don't know, is just, you know, it's, it's underrated in my opinion. I mean, it really has a lot of spectacular stuff to offer, a lot of outdoor stuff, rafting, all that stuff, and it doesn't get as crowded because it doesn't have the big name. It doesn't have the Yellowstone. It doesn't have a big park name associated with it. So you can definitely get to it. You can definitely get through it. You can definitely have a lot of fun. I pause here for a moment because they're talking about the, the Clayton smelter. I guess this is where they found uh, lead and silver mineral deposits about 12 miles uh, north. And this is where they had a smelter years and years and years ago. But just look at it. The main reason I stopped, and hopefully you can see the town there, has a population of seven. Seven people in that town. Isn't that cool? One of the big draws of Idaho is just the uh, canyons and the valleys you get to kind of go through. Like you can see here, the road just kind of going through it with the river. So you have plenty of people who are just out there in the morning just starting to fish. But you got these big canyons like over it and it keeps it nice and cool. So right now apparently I'm hearing how the rest of the country is suffering through a heat wave. And yet, and yet. It is definitely decidedly cool here, so that I'm even wearing my armor and I'm perfectly fine. I definitely like just kind of cutting through it. And one of the things they like to tell you is, if you're on a motorcycle, just find a river and follow it, because rivers like the meander, and you get a lot of gorgeous views, especially with the water, it can be a whole lot of fun.
just breathe it all in. Now, the reason why this is called Salmon Creek is should be pretty obvious. It's called Salmon Creek because tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of salmon will use this creek uh, to be born well upstream and go out to the uh, Pacific Ocean, which is, you know, hundreds of miles away, just to come back years later to spawn at the same place where they'll die. <laughs> Apparently, from what I've been reading, is that there are spots along this river where, you know, when the, when the salmon run is coming up, you can actually sit, stand here and watch the grizzly bears in the river catching the salmon. I mean, I, I, this is not the greatest spot for it, but I, I heard there are locations where you can, uh, where you can do that. Now, obviously, uh, that's still a few months away, so I, I'm not going to see that. <laughs> but I can uh, enjoy reading about it. anyone can really see it, but this place is just packed with campsites and campers. RVs seem to be particularly uh, very popular around here. I mean, I don't know, but there's just a voluminous amount of fishermen. I don't know if they're out to catch breakfast, but there's a lot of people out there fishing all over this, uh, this creek. I don't know what besides salmon lives in this thing, but I'm sure there's other fish in there. <laughs> I mean, this is just like uh, a, like a, a camper's dream paradise, and it is the 4th of July weekend, so you can kind of understand why they, they've got a lot of campers. You can see them all their campfires going. So when it gets to midday, I bet you this, this road's going to get swarmed, but right now it's pretty much all to myself, and that's the way I like it. Okay, now this part, if you look, I see some deer, and I can trust assured, and let me know you this, this fact is that my hand is way over the brake, and I am staring these deer down, because if they were to break left onto the road, I would have, you know, stopped and swerved and gotten out of the way. But it's always the deer that you don't see that, that that's the problem, not the deer that you do see. But look at this, how just wide and open this is. What I'm going to have to do uh, is actually kind of because I took so much footage of going through Sawtooth National For Forest, which is what this is, that I'm going to have to break it up and kind of do like more justice to it. Because there, I took a lot of footage, well over an hour's worth, and I just, I definitely would like to document it a whole lot more. Because it was so fun just to kind of go through it, to see some of the wildlife, to just kind of experience, just kind of going through here, the, the huge, grand, majestic views that are all over the place. I stopped a lot of time, spent a lot of time in the park. It was a whole lot of fun. And I would just like to make sure I get a whole lot to it and give it a whole lot more. Nothing quite like Idaho. Look at this. Oh, this is so magnificent. Water's so clear down there. Oh, this is just a, like a gorgeous day. It's beautiful riding conditions. Couldn't ask for anything more. Really couldn't. Oh, I just, you know, and at the pace I'm going through, it's going to be an all-day affair getting through this, this, this park. 
and, and I'm, I'm absolutely happy with it. I'm basically gonna go from one end to the park to the other because I almost, you, you literally almost want to stop every mile or every, every chance you get. Oh. One of the things is like, you do kind of ascend up to like a plateau in, in Sawtooth. And as you go up, you get a whole lot of views as you're heading up. And then you actually get to kind of come down on the other side. Now there's plenty of gas, so you don't worry about running out of gas. Although it is a little pricier than it should be. But hey, what are you going to do with the guy you trapped? But you get to kind of come down with a huge rock face on one side and the river on your other as you just kind of slalom down. You can stop and see people kayaking, doing whitewater rafting. They're more than happy to wave, and uh, several of them are even uh, drinking while they're in the boat. <laughs> Which I guess, you know, you, you, as long as you police yourself, uh, hey, why not? Why shouldn't you be allowed to? And you can see plenty of people who are out there fishing. I mean, it is the Salmon River, so I guess they're fishing for salmon, and who knows what else might be there. I saw uh, trout on the menu at a couple places, so I assume uh, trout is <laughs> swimming around here somewhere. Uh, but as much as it might seem like this is all fun and games, you, you do have to be kind of somewhat alert in the mere fact that because of the rock face, rocks do fall down onto the road and it doesn't take a lot from a rock to knock you off your uh, bike. So one of the things I was keenly aware of was where the rocks were, <laughs> if there were any on the road. And there were some, so I had to do some like slaloming occasionally, but still. Just looking at the view, looking at the day, and just not only what you're doing, uh, but just what everyone else is doing, enjoying this day. And it was the 4th of July, so plenty of campfires, plenty of uh, cooking food you can smell. <laughs> As I kind of finally was actually regretting why I had to leave the party. But someday, maybe I'll come back. <laughs> <laughs>